we're just back from five days with altitude, dust, technical sections, trees, looking up at the sky, looking down at the mud, walking through the forest, crossing incredible landscapes, all in this one concentrated place. So Gunnison County is a large geographic county. It's about one and a half times the size of Delaware, but 80% of the county is federal public lands. A lot of kind of the race pioneers uh, have lived in this valley in Gunnison and Crested Butte. And so the presence of bikepacking has always kind of been uh, noticeable here. And also when we look at the vast amount of public lands here, uh, biking has a, a prominent spot on the landscape and the ability to connect single track and double track and lots of different uh, connections through different land use uh, really exist in a way that bikepacking uh, is, is really a natural fit. We made Gunnison County our home basically just because of all the public land we have access to. We have 800 miles of single track, we have millions of acres of public land. I mean the first time I ever came through here was like 1994 I think. But Gunnison's a pretty cool town now like actually spending time here and using it as a jumping off point. What is it? 35% of all gravel roads in Colorado are in Gunnison County. It's pretty amazing. I think Gunnison is unique because we have so much access to all these mountains, many different unique mountains. There's the Cochitopa Hills, there's the Elks. You can get like the very dramatic mountains or you can get the rolling hills. And of course, the Great Divide mountain bike ride, uh, uh, edge of the Colorado Trail, those connect through. And then there's tons of routes that have just kind of been spread as Word of mouth routes, a lot of sub 24 hour overnight opportunities in and out of Gunnison and Crested Butte. And so the, the ability to just continue to curate routes that are unique and interesting and have a large appeal, whether it's historic or whether it is the ability to get high up in the alpine terrain or down in the lower sagebrush terrain, really the, uh, the, the possibilities are unlimited in Gunnison County. Just my favorite thing about bike packing is just being able to explore all these towns and trails that you would never be able to otherwise. And it's a great way to see a place intimately and get to know a place, whether you're traveling or whether it's your backyard. The route is called Sage and Saddles, the Gunnison Bikepacking Loop. It's a 220 mile loop that starts and ends in Gunnison, Colorado. And I'm lucky enough to call this home and be able to pedal this route from home. But what I really wanted to do is share this awesome, unique, diverse landscape of Gunnison County while also highlighting the area's history, the natural beauty, and the culture. The variety and the progression of the route, because we started in the sagebrush climbing up Hartman Rocks. You know, you had these beautiful canyons, kind of sprawling vistas. You saw the mountains in the distance, and then we rounded the corner, and started coming back north towards the mountains, and then we were in them. I haven't been on too many routes where in such a small distance or length of time covered such varied terrain. So the first half of the route, the southern part definitely has a distinct feel, less resupply, maybe more desert-like, but once you get to Cathedral Ranch cabins, uh, it's like a, a oasis in the middle of nowhere, which is really special. And then you make your way up north uh, in the mountains and you've got all these tiny little towns uh, and resupply points scattered about, which really makes the resupply logistics a lot easier, but it also gives the route a little bit more flavor. Going about the route in the direction that we ended up choosing to do the route was beneficial because coming from the eastern United States where I live at an elevation of 2,500 feet, uh, coming to Gunnison in the first place is, is quite a significant elevation and it was nice to have a couple of days to sort of ease into that. Yeah, I think a five day itinerary actually works really well. So for us, it gave us a, what was it? 44 mile uh, per day average. Going in that counterclockwise direction really sets you up for success because 
You're starting in lower elevations with easier riding before making your way around the route to the north where you find yourself in more higher elevation. You've got more technical riding over those mountain passes. For me, it's the passes, you know, Williams Pass was super cool. We saw three baby, baby elk at the top of Williams Pass, that was neat. Ten Cup Pass was cool as well. But also, I mean, the, that juxtaposed with those long, open gravel roads that you had, you could basically see, you know, eight different mountain ranges in every direction. Yeah, the, the highlight for me in general was the flora. Started out the route in the sage just has a beautiful aura about it, but then as you work your way up, going through the pines and then the aspen, and then when you get to the wildflowers, it's just unbelievable. I don't think I've ever seen such a variety of flowers in such a compact space. Pitkin was cool because there when we got there, it was the morning. There weren't a lot of people in town. We went, we had breakfast, and then we talked to Don. I believe he was in his 90s. And Don told us a lot of stories. So to me, that was, that was kind of special. I, I would say maybe my favorite, and maybe it's a little bit more underrated uh, on this route, is that Spring Creek Harmel's in Almont area. It definitely offers a unique riding experience. You're in canyons and then you open up to the Almont Triangle and you're just, you've got these great views and vistas. Plus Harmel's and Almont, I mean, there's endless options for resupply. There's tons of food there. So that's a really cool and unique experience. People know Colorado is the birth of mountain biking. People know that Colorado is a destination for riding bicycles of all sorts. But this county has everything you can want in a five-day package that is gonna answer every question you have about riding bikes in the style that we like to ride bikes.